everyone. Today I am very excited to have a special guest with us today. It is Sam. He did his PGY2 in pharmacy informatics. Thought we would bring him out here. He actually flew out here from Texas, Texas, yeah. Texas all the way to the chilly weather in Minnesota to join us and he's going to tell us a little bit about his pharmacy informatics experience. But before we get too far, let's let's look over to Sam here. And Sam, could you tell our viewers a little bit about you know yourself um, and a little bit about your background? Yeah, sure. So I'm originally from Texas. I'm um, actually getting my pharmacy school in Houston at Texas Southern University. And uh, before that, I actually did my um, undergrad in chemistry. Okay, sounds good. Well, Sam, so pharmacy informatics, of course, is this new field that we were also lucky to get involved right. in. Great field. Um, now, tell me a little bit about when you were a pharmacy student and when you were pharm in pharmacy school, um, you know, what kind of informed you about informatics? How did you learn about informatics and did you, uh, what was your experience like essentially? Right. So when I initially got to pharmacy school, all I really knew about was either retail pharmacy or working in a hospital. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I had an older cousin that's a pharmacist and he told me, Hey Sam, I think you would really love pharmacy informatics. And I was like, well, what's pharmacy informatics? He's like, well, it's a little bit of IT. And at that point, I still never heard about it. And it wasn't until my third year in pharmacy school that we had a lecture. It was actually an admin lecture. And it started talking about um, informatics and how it's um, involved in the hospital and how we're able to work on the backside. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is actually something that I want to do. Yeah, so the backside of farm uh, of pharmacy, huh? So the pharmacy <laughs> from we get a do from behind. Alright, so so let's move on. So this that's your pharmacy school experience. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about your experience when you actually got into a PGY2 in pharmacy and informatics. And right. so the first question is gonna be basically, you know, why did you decide to devote another year of your life? to do a PGY2 in pharmacy informatics. Why did you do that? You know, it's really crazy actually. It was around the time of mid-year and at the hospital I was doing my PGY1, I actually got a, jo a job offer oh. in uh, my IT. And I, it kind of blew my mind because I, I didn't think, it, I thought it was really early at that point. And so I started asking myself questions. Am I even qualified or do I even have the experience to be able to do the job in the way that I'd like to do it? So, so I mean, that's really interesting. So, you got a job offer in, you said December? December. And you were in your PGY1. Right. So, for the viewers out there, that means you got a job offer for a, an informatics position, right? right? Informatics. A pharmacy informatics position as a PGY1. Right. So a PGY2 technically is not necessary. Absolutely. Job. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 not at all. And so I, I asked myself, you know, Sammy, do you feel like you would be able to do your best job just straight out with this PGY1 into this job? And the simple answer to it was no. Didn't feel I had enough experience. Felt like I didn't touch enough things as a student and as a resident. And so that's really what was the impetus for me saying, I want to do a PGY2 in pharmacy informatics. Okay. So this guy was a go-getter. That's what he was. He's a hard worker. All right. So you're in your PGY2. Um, there's there's still only a handful of PGY2s out there. Right. Not, not that many. I, uh, I know when I was applying, there was only 16. Do you remember how many there was when you applied? Probably less than 20. I mean, so, still growing like, over that year, but there still wasn't a lot. Okay. So it's around 20 or so, probably. Uh, maybe more now, and that was only last year. Yeah, last year, right? Last year, so uh, not too many. Now, because there are a couple to choose from, you know, what are some of the factors that made you pick your PGY2 uh, of choice? Right. I was really interested in really going to a hospital that was large, having not only an inpatient experience but also ambulatory, because there's so many domains within pharmacy. Both one, two, staffing component. You know, when I was a uh, First year resident, uh, there just every other weekend we were staffing, and that got a little crazy really quickly. So I wanted to be able to have time to, to dedicate towards my work as well as have work-life balance. Mm -hmm. and so that was the second thing I was looking at. And then a program that was a little bit bigger. So I had uh, three co-residents, and really was part of the best part of being a resident is being able to have that experience and 
really have this relationship with other pharmacists. So I was looking for a bigger program, something that I felt was home. And then lastly, um, just with informatics, you want to be in a place that has a lot of technology, a lot of automation, and if you get lucky enough, a place that's actually implementing some type of new system, whether it be an EHR or a new workflow, just something new that you can be, be able to call your own during your time as a resident. So, just for the viewers out there, because um, I'm kind of curious as well, very similar experience to you. I came from one of the factors that I looked at was a bigger program as well. My PGY1 only had four PGY1s, uh, so I only had three co residents, and then my PGY2 we had 24, so it was awesome. How, and you say you had to get four uh, total PGY1s, three right. co residents as right. well, right? Right. What about PGY2? So, the total of um, 11 of us. And so it okay. was like almost half half. Now I don't know about you, but during my PGY2, all of my co-residents would bug me to help them with any technical <laughs> problem that happened. I would get paged for computer fixes and all of that craziness. Did any of your co-residents do that to you? I, I guess I can call myself Mr. MUE. Mr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because um, for medication utilization evaluation, every time every resident had a project and um, it, re it required looking at data, being able to analyze data, being able to use Excel, and my, my co residents like Sam, I just don't get it. <laughs> Can you help me out? Can you help me analyze this data? <laughs> and you know, once they were able to see all the different codes that I was able to do, and the shortcuts were like, I need to, <laughs> you have to teach me one, and you know, I did, just had a better, I guess, better respect for what we do in Infrared. <laughs> now, the last question I kind of have with your experience is um, what are some of the things that you liked and what are some of the things that you didn't like about your residency? It's a good question, actually. Um, I think the number one thing that I love is the culture. I felt like everybody was there to help you succeed. I mean, every day I woke up with a smile on my face, happy to go to work. And I can't say that everywhere everyone elsewhere could say the same thing. Uh, just being able to work with people who had so much involvement in organizations like ASHP and him, it just showed me that I was going along to the right path, being that leader that I want to be in the field of informatics. In regards to things that I disliked, I really can say I didn't dislike anything, to be honest. And it's weird because, okay. again, people usually have those stories like, oh my gosh, the staffing was horrible, oh my gosh, it made me do this. And honestly, I, I felt like I was within an extended family. And I felt like I was amongst everyone else. I didn't feel like I had that tag of resident. You know, I felt like I was just another pharmacist working with a team and being able to contribute to the bigger pot. I'm pretty sure a lot of Sam's positive experiences were because I was there. But <laughs> absolutely. That's absolutely. That's what it is. Yeah. All right, well, that's kind of it for the video. Um, for all of you who may have additional questions, I'm sure there's a lot of burning questions that you might have for Sam over here. Is uh, there any way of contacting you, Sam, for the students or individuals out there that might be watching? Yeah, sure. So I um, believe uh, contact information on in the on the bottom comment section, so you can be able to somewhere. Oh, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. All right. Leave it. And then I'm also on LinkedIn, so it's okay. an easy way to be able to reach out to me. Sounds good. Now, the last thing I'm going to leave for the viewers out there is because we have a lot of actually pharmacy students and sometimes some pharmacists and residents who is looking to get into uh, pharmacy informatics. So for those individuals out there, do you have any kind of words of wisdom or advice, tips, things you could share with the folks out there? Yeah, this, uh, keep on doing it. Like, find different ways, talk to people, you know, reach out to your email, watch these videos because uh, ultimately, a lot of people don't get informatics. I remember when I kept on telling everyone I want to do informatics, I said, let's do it. You know, and I was like, no, I want to do informatics. So stay true to your goals and you can be just like you and I, just like Brian and I. Absolutely. So you heard it there. Uh, well, you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. Subscribe for more videos. Uh, if you guys like Sam, we're definitely gonna have him come on for more of these videos. Hey. Definitely reach out to him. Um, he's a great guy. And next time we're gonna have him talk about some other things. So stay tuned, subscribe. Until next time, guys. See ya.